What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So Rudy Gobert of the Minnesota Timberwolves is crying. All right. He's crying. You know, uh, his pad is leaking. Blood is dripping all over the court. And, um, you know, he's whining about fans, Timberwolves fans, not clapping in applause and celebrating the team's efforts even when they're losing, all right? And this is what he had to say. I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. He said, and I believe he said this uh, a couple days ago, an interview. I just don't quote. I just don't appreciate people that come in and boo your team. When you're a fan, you got to support your team in the tough or the good moments. There's no team in NBA history that only had good moments. So if you're not going to support us in the tough moments, just stay home. I think if you're going to embrace us in the tough moments, then come and then we're going to love the support. Now, Shaq said something in response, right? Basically, man up, work on your game, blah, 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 blah. But fuck Shaq for the moment, all right? I'm just going to say what Shaq had to say, add on to it, all right? First of all, Rudy Gobert, what Shaq said is true. Instead of focusing on the fans booing you and, and, and you know, all of this shit and blaming the fans for why they're not supporting a bad team. Work on your game, right? I'm going to tell the same thing to these motherfuckers what people said to Russell Westbrook, right? It was the truth. A lot of ways, yeah, it was true. Work on your fucking game. And then guess what? When you get better, the team is going to get better. Generally speaking, when the team plays a longer period of time, longer stretch of time, hopefully, the chemistry will get better and the fans will start cheering. But this is the thing. Now, look, today's fans are kind of a little bit <laughs> iffy, right? But generally speaking, people will applaud effort even if the team is losing. Case in point, look at the Lakers, right? The, the Lakers are 9-12. Now, just... On the surface, if you look at a team that's 9-12, you say, well, that's a bad team. But the reason why the, the Laker fans are cheering the Lakers is because they're putting out effort. This is a team that easily could have just given up and be 4-17 and uh, 17 right now, okay? They could be 4-17 and 17 and on their way to a 30-27 to 27 win season. But no, they're trying and the fans realize they're trying. And they're putting out effort. And they're hustling. <clears throat> and as a consequence of that, they're winning games that last year they would have lost. Rudy Gobert, you don't get to come in, bro. Because I remember, didn't you come in saying shit like instant championship, uh, it's going to be easy, all this bullshit. You don't get to talk all that shit when in your head you're thinking, oh, this is going to be a dynasty. But then in reality strikes and the team isn't doing as well as they should have or could be, and the fans are booing you because you're not making, you're not uh, reaching expectations. You can't blame the fans. And by the way, Timberwolves fans, they had shit to fucking be... <laughs> Tell me something, bro. What the fuck have Timberwolves fans been having to applaud lately? I mean, didn't Timberwolves fans applaud the team making the plan or some shit last year? So at the end of the day, come on, man. We ain't talking about Laker fans. We're not talking about Celtics fans or Knicks fans. And no disrespect to Timberwolves fans. But they don't have that much to brag uh, to, to brag about as far as team history. 
for the most part, their team has sucked. This is a year that is supposed to turn around, and it hasn't. So don't blame the fucking fans. Blame yourself. Why is it that the Utah Jazz experiment failed? Largely because of you. You're, you're seven foot two. You got two or three fraudulent defensive player of the year awards that you shouldn't have fucking won anyway. You're not an all time great defender. And yeah, your numbers look good on the surface, but you can't post up a fucking. You can't even score against a goddamn walrus. Wally Warris would fucking score on your ass. He can't to stop me, Woody Woody Packer. I got 37 points. Come on, man. On the other end, Wally, you let point guards post you up and stop. Man, get out of here, bro. You can't score against guards. Wasn't it a, a sequence... In the Olympics, when I, I know I'm not having a, a misremember, uh, I'm not misremembering this, but someone can confirm this. Wasn't it a, either in an NBA game recently or in the Olympics? I think it was in the Olympics when Rudy Gobert was being guarded by uh, Dennis Schroeder, and Schroeder stopped this nigga from scoring. But this is what we got to deal with today, man. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.